Hello, hello, Tatum here. Welcome back to day nine of our No Quit November workout challenge. Today, I have a hot biscuits and gravy lower body workout, so let's get to it. All right, hello, it is day nine of our No Quit November challenge. We're gonna get started with a lower body workout today. I have uh, 15 pounds, so somewhere around that range, and a couple heavier with a kettlebell. All right, also I do have a ball for some adduct, um, adduction work that we're gonna do on a squat. If you have a foam roller or a ball, a soccer ball or something in the house that will also work. And I am going to be using my stepper today. No worries if you don't have one because I will give you an alternative. All right, all right. Okay, we're gonna get started with our warm up. Sorry, I'm just admiring the sun coming into my nice bike uh, shadow here. All right, let's go ahead and warm up. Let's just go with some leg swings real quick as we're going to be working this lower body pretty hard. This workout today is called Hot Biscuits and Gravy. So we're gonna work those bu <laughs> the buns <laughs> today um, with some little bit of glute action at the beginning as our opener, okay? Let's switch legs. And then we'll go into some single leg work. And then we're gonna go into a heavier strength uh, circuit. All the while, I have also added some uh, cardio in between our sets today, okay? Our different circuits, I mean. So be ready for that. We're gonna get our sweat on. It's leg, heart, it's all in there today. But you got it. All right, let's just inch warm out here or walk out all the way out. Good, and all the way back up. Nice work. And again, trying to keep those legs as straight as possible, okay? On that inch warm. And that's okay if we're not there and you need to bend just a little bit, uh, like I do as we're warming up. <laughs> back up to the top. Good, and down. And this time I want you to stop in downward dog here, okay? Push back. And then let's go ahead and just go into a little scorpion. So bring that left leg up and behind and I actually want you to extend it and bring it back. Good. Give it a couple more. Nice work. Other leg up behind. Give it a twist. Feel that stretch. Now extend. All right. Three more. Three, two, and one. While I have you in this downward dog, let's go ahead and sway our hips side to side, just a little. Good work. And let's walk out that dog, alternating heel down. All right, walk it all the way back up to the top. Good job. All right, let's go ahead now and do a swing across the body lateral here with a little twist. Woo, with balance, okay? Hold on to something if you need to, that's okay. But if you can, try to work balance here. Three, two, and one, good. Other side, oh, it's a beautiful day here. Two, three, four, good. We're gonna go to 10, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's come down to the floor here for the last few stretches, all right? Let's bring those knees side to side, just alternating. Open up those hips. This one feels really good. Good, now on this one, I want you to come up, bring those hips up onto your knees, back down, other side and up, good. Nice work. Couple more here. We are gonna start at the floor today with a, um, with a lot of glute work, okay? And a little bit of ab. Last one. Nice work. All right, let's come to our knees here. Let's go ahead and just extend a little bit here. Bring it through. Nice deep lunge. There you go, let's tap that knee. One, two, three, 
four, and five. Good. Switch. One, two, three, four, and five. Good work. Let's come back here. Hands and knees. First thing we're going to start with is a donkey kick back, all right, into this right glute, okay? So right leg up and back. Here we go. We're going to spend 30 seconds here, and then we'll change it up, okay? We're just going to get into these glutes, hopefully not tire them out too much. We're only going to do the right side and the left side. We won't repeat it too much, okay? But getting the glutes activated and also stronger at the same time here today with this opener. Good. So make sure that we're squeezing the glute, okay, as we lift. Here we go. Fire hydrant out to the side, okay? Yes, it's just as it sounds. Fire hydrant, okay? <laughs> oh, here we go. Out to the side and lift. Good. Another 30 seconds here. And we'll add on. We're not resting. We'll have a little ab rest or active rest with an ab workout exercise before we go into the left side. Three, two, and one. I want you to take that knee up. You can stagger your hands just a bit. And I want you to kick back, trying to keep that leg parallel to the floor. Good, right here, bring it in, kick it back. Nice work. Hang on to it, I know, it's starting to burn, but it's good. It's a good burn. There we go. If you need to take a break, take a few seconds, just a few, and then get back to it. Three, two, and one. Woo, here we go. Out to the side, lift, bring it over, and out. Good, lift, and over. Nice work, straight leg on this one. Woo, here we go. Starting to really burn. And we're gonna move to abs for our active rest. Three, two, and one. All right, here we go. Let's come down, right knee up here, okay? And we're gonna come up and just do a sit up there, okay? Right up to that knee, good. Left elbow, inside right knee. Kinda like the, the running runner sit up, okay? You got it. Three, two, and one. All right, a little bit of rest here. What we're gonna do is just kinda let those glutes stretch out. Just kinda push back into them a bit. Rock them side to side, let them go, okay? Maybe walk side to side. All right, here we go, left side. Let's kick it up, got that donkey kick. Pressing the, the flat of your shoe up towards the ceiling. Now, my hamstrings really want to bark at me here, okay? So what I'm going to do is really squeeze that glute as I kick up, all right? Trying to get it to fire and do some of this work, okay? Good. So as my knee is down, let's squeeze and then lift. All right, let me turn around for you. We're going to go to the side now, okay? Out, fire hydrant. All right, same sequence we just did, just the other side. Good. Lift that knee. It's okay if it's just a small range for you today. All right. Good. Can you see my socks? <laughs> I got these as a gift. Here we go. We're up. Staggered hands a bit, kick back, bring it in, okay? Try to keep it as parallel as you can to the floor. One of my lovely clients bought these socks and they have little turkey eyes. Little turkeys, they're little turkeys. They're awesome. I'm gonna wear them every single workout this month. I promise I'll wash them in between, but you're not here to smell them anyways, but <laughs> they're just so much fun. Three, two, Oh, and one. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Out with that straight leg, lift it up and over, tap behind. Side to side here. Woo. You got it. Tap it out. Lift. Try not to just swing and get a tons of momentum behind this. All right, control that movement. You got it. 
Three, two, and one. Here we go. Left knee up. We're gonna sit up towards that knee. Now, if you're having trouble getting up to the top here, onto that tailbone, okay? Up here into that sit, just go ahead and crunch it out. You can even just come here and just give it a good crunch, okay? You do you, modify, find your challenge. Good. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, nice work. We have a minute here to get set up. Now for our first circuit, we're gonna go ahead and set up. So if you have it, you do want a stepper today for a lateral step up and over with a press, okay? We're also going to have a split squat in here, so be ready for that with a little twist today, which I'm excited about. And we also have a half kneeling chop. So a little bit of uh, less weight on that. So on your stepper, we're gonna go up and over with a press, okay? Up and over. And I'm actually gonna bring both feet down and step up and over into those hips. Now, if you don't have the stepper today, let's just do a lateral step. All right, so I'll have you do a lateral step when you get to the center, give it a press, lateral step to press, okay? That might be our best way today, just to get that lateral movement into the hip. All right, okay, so it's a little different, but it'll work. Let's go ahead, grab your weights for that lateral step up. We are working a full minute on this one, okay? Good, down, up, over, and press, down. Good, just pace yourself. I'm gonna work a full minute. If you tire out before then, go ahead, maybe find some lighter weight and keep moving, or just stop at 30 seconds or 45 seconds today, okay? Good. I did add the shoulder in. If you are too tired from some upper body work yesterday, go ahead and leave the press out for me, okay? You can just come here, up, down with that weight, up, down. All right, change it up. Modify, okay, you do you, find your challenge. Three, two, and one, woo! All right, just a little rest to transition here. We have a split squat. On the split squat, we're gonna have a dead stop, so when you come down, you're gonna lift that foot and then come back up. If you're not there today, just go ahead and find your 90 degree or some sort of split squat here, okay? We're on railroad tracks, here we go. Lift, come up to the top, all right? All right, so think about your hand release push up. When you come down, release your hands so you're at a dead stop pushing off the floor, okay? Same concept here. Again, some of us are not gonna get all the way to the floor. We may not be there yet. All right, put your waist down, try it. If not, just go ahead and stay high with it and do the depth and the range that you can get today, okay? Left foot up, here we go. Switch legs. Good. Down. Nice work. Woo! I ran a little, little race yesterday four miles, but two and two on a team. It was a blast, but feeling it today. <laughs> That's a rest, nice work. We're gonna chop it out, half kneeling. I'll face you so you can see this, okay? You're gonna bring it up. I'm gonna hold it here, right hand on top. Come across down that knee here, okay? Here we go. We're gonna stay with one side. Diagonal chop here. Good. Squeeze that outside glute, brace your core. Boom, down to the side, over that knee. Good. Three, two, and one. Switch, here we go. So my left hand's on top, I'm starting left side here. Left shoulder to right hip, okay, across that knee. Hill on that down chop, okay? Three, two, 
Man, one rest. Nice work. All right. I didn't add in a lot of rest. We're going to keep moving. If you need more rest here before we move on, we're going back to the top. Go ahead, hit pause, pause me. We'll get back to it, all right? Three, two, and one. Here we go. We're coming up and over with a press at the top, okay? Back down, up, press, and down. Again, a lateral lunge with a press in the center today, okay? If you don't have the stepper. Whew. Good. Nice work. Both feet on. We're going to take both feet off. Up and over. About a 90 degree or less um, in the bend of your knee, your leg with that stepper, okay? Don't build it too high, especially using this weight overhead, okay? Good. 15 more seconds. Remember, one way to modify is take the interval a little short, shorter, okay? Good. Oh, press, down, up, press, down, rest. Whew. Feel the heart rate on that one, okay? Nice work. We have our split squat with the dead stop again. Feel free to work the range that you can do. Maybe at least trying to get fairly close to having that knee down to the floor, okay? Here we go, right foot forward, left foot back, all the way down. Lift your right foot, come back up. Dead stop here, okay? Gotta push from the ground. You know me, I love that up down, right? Just worked on a client who had surgery, who's older, that's trying to get up and down from the ground gracefully at her age. She's amazing, but just go ahead and switch legs. As we age, we want to still be able to do this, right? Here are many times we have to get down to the ground and up. It's part of maintaining some of that youth and fitness. Or you can continue to take care of ourselves. Good. It's kind of my focus in life going forward. Part of the reason I do what I do. I love it, yes I do, rest. Just for that reason too, we have that chop. All right, find your weight, half kneeling here. Come down, I'm gonna face this direction now. I'm gonna go from the right shoulder, so my right hand is on top of the, my left hand here. Three, two, and one, here we go. Diagonal chop here, across the front of the body, over that knee. Brace. This is not just an ab workout. This is core, <sighs> glutes, right? Glutes are turned on. <sighs> We're using our lower back muscles here to brace <sighs> all of our abs here. <sighs> Three, two, and one. Switch, here we go. Left knee up, left hand on top, down across the body. <sighs> Good. <sighs> Exhale. <sighs> on that downward chop. Inhale as you reset. Reset, blow out the air on that downward chop. Good. Nice work. Three, two, and one, rest. Nice work. All right, good job, folks. All right. So, last set, up and over, okay? You've got this. Remember to modify, bring down your weight, lower your stepper. All right, couple options. Decrease the interval time. Here we go, up and over with that press back down. Up, over, press, good. Up, press, over, down. Let me say that right for you. There we go, you got it. Up, press, down. Up, press, and down, good, you got it. Last one, hang in there. I know this is a tough one. A lot of muscles working together to make this happen. Oh, we got a guest. Sorry, neighbor's dog. All right, Cooper. Cooper's gone, it's all good. <laughs> we occasionally have some neighbor's dogs coming. It is not my dog. <laughs> Cooper's a good dog. There we go, up and over. Come on, eight seconds, woo. Three, two, 
and one rest. Wow. All right, that adds up. Here we go. We have that split squat. We're gonna go all the way to the ground if you can. You're gonna stop, lift that foot, come back up. Three, two, and one. I'll go from the side here. Make sure that right foot's forward, left foot back. Lift, stand. Lift, stand, down, lift, stand. Down, lift, stand. You got it. Good. Dead stop, okay? Again, hand release push up. Same type of, type of effort. Left foot forward, right foot back. Think about a box squat where you sit down and you stop all that momentum and then you stand from there. Good. Woo. Up, down. It's a far way to go, okay? It's okay if you're not there today on this one. Just find your split squat, okay? Stay on those railroad tracks, not a tightrope. You do you, modify, find your challenge. Last one. And press, good. Kneeling chops. We're gonna have a little cardio woo, in the middle of all this, okay? We'll do our best. Right knee up, right hand on top of left hand. Here we go. Cross the body, chop. Good. Remember to brace the core. What does that brace feel like? It's not just a, like sucking the belly button in, okay? It's not just that. I want you to think about what you do when a ball is coming at your stomach or someone hits you in the stomach. That's bracing, right? You crunch down and in at the same time. All right, good. Cross the body, left hand on top this time. Good. You got it. Three, two, and one. Rest. Okay. Nice work. We have a little bit of time here, just 30 seconds. We're going to go into our cardio piece, okay? We're going to do marching step ups. We have 30 seconds of somewhat easy, still movement, somewhat easy step ups to 20 seconds of box uh, jumping jacks. And I'll give you an alternative on each of these, okay? So we're going to step, do a marching up, down, okay? Quick. You can switch legs on 30 seconds. I'll show you the next one. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Drive it up. Quick ones. You can take this slower. This 30 seconds is kind of your active rest, okay? Compared to the other two exercises. All right? Keep it coming. You got it. Three, two, and one. I'm going for box jacks. You can do a drop jack here, okay? I'm gonna go from here, down, back up. All right, you do you, modify, find your challenge. For some of you that wanna try this, but this is too high, take your step or lower and give it a try, okay? Good, here we go. Arms overhead, high knees. 10 seconds is all this is, because it's a tough one, okay? 10 seconds, come on. Three, two, and one. That's round one, here we are. Step up, down, and I'm sorry. If you have a chair, this will work for your step ups. If you don't, let's just step back and touch here, okay? Real quick, all right? Good. Good, you can take these easy or quick, okay? It's your 30 seconds. Keep moving for me. All right, here we go. Up and off, or you're gonna do a squat, a drop jack there, okay? Woo, we got it. Three, two, and one. Here we go, high intensity for 10 seconds. Knees up, arms overhead. Three, two, 
And one, round three. Take it easy if you want. All right, letting that heart rate come down, but still moving. If you can, touch here, up and down, okay? Good, you got it. Three, two, and one. Jacks, or here, okay? In and out. You do you. Modify. Find your challenge. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Arms are ahead, high knees, 10 seconds. We're doing four sets of these today. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Good, you got it. Take it high or low here. This is a little bit of recovery time for you, okay? So you can take it slow and easy. Catch your breath. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Up, down, up, down. Good, again, if you have a stepper, feel free to try this with just the, rise, the step itself. Or maybe one riser and work up. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Arms overhead, high knees. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right, grab a sip of water. Let the heart rate come down. I forgot my water today. It's always leg day. No, I took it to the gym this morning. That was part of the issue. All right, left it. Okay, let me catch my breath. We're going on to kettlebell swings. Okay, so we did some single work, right? That lateral step up into one leg, the uh, split squats. All right, so now we're, we're gonna get off the singles. We're gonna try to do the weight that we can and still brace our core. We've done a lot of glutes, we've done a lot of abs, uh, core stuff, so just be careful. We're gonna do kettlebell swing, both arms right here, up to about chin, height forehead, okay? Just somewhere in there in your face. <laughs> Sumo squats, we're gonna go wide here, toes out, down, and up, all right? And then we're gonna do, I have my ball here, this is where you'll want your foam roller, a soccer ball, something that you can have between your legs so we can squeeze and squat at the same time, okay? All right, 45 seconds of work on this one, all right? Here we go, swinging it to the top here. Remember, on a kettlebell swing, and you can use a dumbbell, all right, there are, you can use a dumbbell on this. But on the swing, you wanna keep that weight close to the body, okay? Don't let it fall way down here. Right under the body, we're pushing the hips back towards the wall and we're pushing them forward. My arms are not lifting the weight at all. They're swinging, they're hanging out, they're having some fun, but the shoulders are down, they're packed. All right, my arms are close to my, like closing off my armpits, three, Two and one. There's a lot going on. Start very light, work up, okay? Start light, work up. Get the form, get the movement, all right? Even if you normally do heavier weight, here we go, sumo. In this particular one, we started with a lot of core already, glutes that we need to squeeze through on that uh, swing, okay? We had some ab work, okay? Core work. So, just make sure that you have the stamina to keep squeezing and using those muscles to help you. If not, if you've already tired out, then please take it lighter. All right, you do you modify, find your own challenge. All right, all of this can be done that way. It's just a template. Here we go. Up, down, feet are wider than shoulder width, toes are flared out. Nice and wide here. But notice I'm coming straight up and down. This is not a deadlift, sumo deadlift, okay? It's a squat. All right, that's a rest, good job. This is where you need your ball, a foam roller, soccer ball, whatever you have. Maybe it's just a little bouncy kick ball. That's what I like to use too. This is weighted, 
You could, here we go, we're gonna squat. And we're gonna actually do a half to a full, okay? So a little half there into the quads, and then a full, squeezing the whole time. This has weighted, but some sort of little kickball will do. All right, or a foam roller that you can squeeze and hold there too. Just adding some pressure. Now, if you don't have that, just take a close stance. That means your feet are within your hip width squat, okay? So there, you're just gonna take it closer. We did wide. Take it closer here like I am and just do your squat there. All right, we're back to swings. All right, glutes are on here. We're squeezing, we're pushing through. Here we go. We're gonna squeeze those arms against our armpits. We're gonna bring those shoulders down away from the ears, okay? You can start out here in front and then you're gonna hike it between your legs underneath and squeeze and push. It's a thrust. Those hips are going forward, squeezing the glutes, okay? Good. Now, as soon as our core tires out, we start to do a lot of funny things. We might snake our body, we might lean back. All right, so go lighter. All right, don't sacrifice your form. My elbows are soft. Good. I'm squeezing against my armpits. Three, two, and one, rest. Good work. Nice job, got that sweat going, right? Feels good, here we go. Feet wide, nice sumo squat here. All right, wider than shoulder width, toes are out. We want those knees to go in the direction of the toes, okay? Three, two, and one. If you need to get deeper than the dumbbell will allow you, then you can grab this from each head here and dip a little deeper, maybe an inch or two or something, okay? Whatever you can do there. Up and down. Good. Remember, up, down. Bottom towards the floor, not back towards the wall. Up, down. Good. Good job. Inhale as you come down, exhale as you stand, okay? Three, two, and one. Now I'm using weight here on these, but just remember, if you're just getting started, sometimes body weight is just enough to get started, okay? Here we go, we're gonna squeeze here. I'm looking down at my funny tricky socks and they make me smile. <laughs> I love it, here we go. Half to full. Sometimes it's those little things that we need during the day in our workout. Build your in-home gym. Make it a happy place for you. Make it a place that stays there, all right? That you can just walk into and get started. All right, put up some motivational quotes. All right, here we go. Remember, squeeze the whole time. Don't let go of that. I could relax on it and still hold the ball, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna really squeeze and rest. Good work. All right, one more round here, right? Here we go. Back to those swings. If this has been enough on the swings today, go down to a glute bridge on the floor, okay? Working the glutes and hamstrings that way, but in a safer way. Good. Here we go, swing, swing that way. Push those hips forward, thrust them forward, pop them forward. All right, pop that weight forward, keep it close to the body underneath. Good. You got it. Wrist are neutral, okay? They're kind of more locked out. Come on, 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Good work. All right. You know it. Sumo next, okay? Feet wide. Oh, here we go. Toes out. Make sure that we're not caving in this way, okay? Get them to go out towards those toes. All right, here we go. Up, down. Now, I've been resting at the top. Here, pause. And then I go back into it. This is my last one. I'm gonna try to do a zero pause at the top, okay? Up, down. As Soon as I get fully extended here, I'm going right back into it. No rest. You got it. Come on, push yourself a little bit. Last one today. 
You can do it. Good. Focus on your breathing. In, out. In, out. Come on. Woo! Three, two, and one. All right. Last one in the circuit, and then you know what's next. A little bit of cardio, same repeat. 30, 20, 10, four rounds, four minutes, and we're done today, okay? You're doing great. Three, two, and one. Here we go. A little halvesy, and then a full. <laughs> a little half, and then a full. You got it, squeeze, squeeze. Feel those inner thighs. We did a lot of glute, all right? We worked that bottom, really. We worked those biscuits. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of our gravy today on these legs, but we are going to now work the inner thighs. All right, just as important as those hips and stabilizing the knee and having the strength on our lunges and our runs and our squats without getting hurt. All right, that's a rest. 30 seconds, that's all I gave us here. Remember, step ups or just a touchdown. Okay, just working at a pace that gives you some rest but keeps you moving unless you need to take it up today. Maybe some of you are training and in training and you, you can keep that heart rate high, okay? All right, 20 of the box jacks. Again, you can do a drop, all right? You got it, here we go. Up down, we'll start with the easy first. All right, say easy, all right? And I'm just switching, coming down into this marching. All right, you can play with it, you can have fun as long as we're moving. All right, as long as this feels somewhat easier than our 20 second bout and our 10, okay? Because there's no rest written in, it's just active rest. Or just an easier um, interval, okay? Three, two, and one, here we go. You got it. Good job. 20 seconds on this one, okay? A little less than the first three, two, and one, because it's a little harder. Here we go. Arms overhead, high knees. Bring them up. If you need to, march it out, okay? Three, two, one. Here we go. Let's go. Now, if it's easier to stay with one side of the body here, maybe the switch in the middle is just too much to think about. We have even numbers, right? We're doing four of these. Do right, left, right, left, okay? So just, you could go up with that left and down and just stay there and switch back to on the next second round with the right, okay? Here we go. Some sort of jumpy jack, okay? You do you, modify. Find your challenge. Good, we got it. Three, two, and one. Arms overhead, here we go, high knees. March it out or bring it high. Find your challenge. Three, two, one, here we go. Up, down, come on, hang in there with me. Just make your modifications, but keep moving. Keep getting those steps in. Keep that heart rate pumping. Good. Good. Another thing you could do is just take this 30 seconds to rest, okay? And then go 30 seconds of work with the 20, 10 intervals, okay? Good. Sorry to throw so much at you, but I want you to keep moving. I want you to keep working. I just want you to find your own challenge, okay? So I'm giving you options along the way so that you can feel like you can keep going, okay? It's all right. We're all at a different level, a different part of our journey. Even two people that train with me that are equally at the same level will have a different day based on so many things in our life. Okay, I say it all the time, what we eat, our sleep, our stress, Okay, it all changes. All changes what we can do inside the gym. All right. Whoo, come on. Last round here. You got it. 
Three, two, and one. Here we go. Some sort of jumping jack. Three, two, and one. Last 10 seconds. Come on, let's go. Make it count. Three, two, and one. All right. Nice work. I never did the claps. Come on, high five. All right. Let's bring that heart rate down. Why don't you bring those arms out? Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Good. And through the nose, so you can find that breath in your belly. And back out. Good, come on, let's do a few more. We gotta get this heart rate down. And then we'll stretch it out. Really gonna work those hips today after that intro today. All right, at the beginning, that opener that I did in, we did the lateral step ups or the lateral lunge. All right, in. And we'll even get our adductors too with a few exercises we had. We can sometimes forget about that. And I, I'm guilty. You know, talk about hips and glutes being turned off so much. One more. We kind of forget that sometimes our adductors get really tight. Also an overactive or weak even, okay? All right, let's come down and start there then today. Let's come down here to the floor, half kneeling again. I want you to bring the palm out here on the inside of your leg. And let's just open up, look away. Find your breath. If you still have a really high heart rate, and this is a little tough yet, pause me, the beauty of YouTube. Pause and come back when that, when that uh, heart rate has returned for you, okay? Good, now if that's a little easy, you can come down to the floor, maybe bring that arm up to the top. And what I want you to focus on doing is pressing this arm into the leg, both of them against each other, okay? Good work. Let's come here. We're going to fall into a pigeon. So you're going to bring this leg and kick this one back. If that's too much, find your Z here, okay? Heel to knee and do the same stretch just with that heel to knee. All right, but I'm going to kick it back. Come down into a pigeon here. Ah, just relax. Maybe we walk up and do a little back bend if it feels good to you. And then come down. You can come down to your forearms. You might want to bring your hands out and bring your forehead to the floor. Good. Just hang out here, relax into it. This is a great one to do in front of the TV. <laughs> I should do TV stretches. Ah, do my routine for you one of these days. I like to do just before bed. About the only time I sit. All right, if you're there, stay there. If you can, you can join me up here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tap that leg behind three times. One, two, and on this last one, I want you to squeeze this glute really tight so this hamstring doesn't grab, okay? It might still grab if that does, don't do this. And then you're just gonna grab that foot and pull in here, get that quad to stretch out for you. Again, if you're getting a, a little Charlie horse there and that doesn't feel good, just come back to the stretch, the pigeon stretch, okay? And hold it there. Good. Release that leg gently. Let's come out of that pigeon stretch. We're going to turn and do the other side. So right knee up. Again, first start with that arm inside the leg, palm out, and just open up and look back. If that's not much of a stretch, you're going to come down to the floor, bring your arm up. Again, still pressing that arm and leg into each other. Good, let's come down to that pigeon or Z stretch position. All right, maybe a small back bend first, if that feels good, then come down. Good, hang out here for a while, relax. Sometimes I like to just lay my forehead down.
Good. Now, if you can, you're going to gently come up. Again, squeeze this glute. Touch, release, touch, release. On this one, squeeze and grab if you're there, okay? Don't overdo it. Don't let that hamstring grab and Charlie horse on you, which mine wants to do a little bit today. Feel that stretch. Hang on to it. Oh, I got a nice breeze coming in here today. There we go. Good work. My timer says it's time. Let's just go one more time here with the way we opened up and just bring those knees side to side. Rock it out just a couple times for me. Nice, gentle way to finish up the day. One more each side. All right, that feels great. Thank you again for joining me on day nine of our No Quit November. If you enjoyed this workout and you're looking for daily workouts with coaching um, during the follow along, then please subscribe, all right? And don't forget to ring our bell. You have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.